Howdy, how's it going? My name's Davy Chappie, and do you know how many spells are in the Sorcerer's Spell List? 188. I had to go through and rank 188 spells for you so that you can go into the comments and tell me how much you like Blade Ward. God, I am not envying these last few lists, especially the wizard. But as above, so below, I made a pack to help you new players along in your quest to pick out your first little baby spells, and I'm going to stick with it. So today we'll be running a marathon through each and every spell in the Sorcerer's Spell List, and I'll be ranking them on Davy's Davy Meter. As always, keep in mind that a lot a lot of this is just my opinion, so if you feel like sorcerers are just gimped wizards, well, you're pretty much right, at least as far as spells are concerned, but you can still play your games however you want. With that out of the way, let's begin. So sorcerers are one of the big three arcane casters in the 5th edition of D&D, standing tall amongst the likes of the warlock and the wizard, but struggling to constantly have to validate its existence in a world where the wizard has access to all of the sorcerer's spells and then some, and the warlock takes flexibility to a level that even Tai Lee would gawk at. But while the sorcerer is more limited in its tricks and what it can do with them, it fights hard to be seen as an equal to the goth and the nerd through two important distinctions. First and most obvious, the sorcerer has metamagic that can break the rules of magic and can change or add effects to your spells. The usefulness of metamagic varies between combinations, so feel free to mix and match to see what is the most important to you. The second benefit to being a sorcerer is that you are the only class, besides artificer, that gets a natural proficiency to constitution. This means that you are a Viagra for concentration spells because you will always keep them up, which just means that concentration spells will be ranked higher than normally on the Davy meter because the chances for them to be useful on a turn-by-turn -turn basis is effectively doubled. Also, final side note, I know that the favored soul sorcerer gets access to the entire cleric spell list and can use metamagic to alter those spells as well, but you must be out of your mind if you think that I'm going to add an entire another spell list on top of what is already 200 spells. But let's jump right into the spells, starting with CANTRIPS! Acid Splash, good in groups, useless alone. Blade Ward, just dodge. Booming Blade, good for swordly types. Chill Touch, good against undead. Control Flames, be a firebender, create bonfire. You have fireball? Dancing Lights, good for being a torch. Firebolt, best spell, only spell. Friends, gets you past awkward conversations with your mother. Frostbite, minor damage, but disadvantage on attacks is never not good. Green Flame Blade, better than Booming Blade in a group. Gust, be an airbender. Infestation, bees! Light, use a torch. Lightning Lure, makes no sense thematically, and you don't want people rubbing against your bathrobes. Mage Hand, for lazy people. Mending, also for lazy people. Message, you gotta point at your target and that's dumb. Minor Illusion, post your JPEGs, but please remember that they cannot move. Mold Earth, be an Earthbender. Poison Spray, good early game when creatures are less likely to resist poison. Prestidigitation, if you don't take this, are you really a wizard? Ray of Frost, slow down enemies so that they don't touch your butt. Shape Water, be a Waterbender. Shocking Grasp, you can either disengage or you can gamble with the spell to possibly deal some damage. Sword Burst, not with a sorcerer you won't. Thunderclap, the exact same problem as Sword Burst. True Strike, everyone knows that this is the worst cantrip in the game. Take it just to defy our meta overlords. First level! Absorb elements. This spell saves lives. Burning hands. This spell takes them. Catapult. Really fun to use for no reason. Chaos Bolt. The amount of lol random in this makes me sad that this is like the only sorcerer unique spell. Charm Person. Dominate minds and pretend that it's okay. Chromatic Orb. A better Chaos Bolt. Color Spray. Like burning hands but for blindness. Comprehend languages. Useful when you need it. Detect magic. It's a ritual so why not take it forever. Disguise Self. Fantastic for getting out of trouble. Earth Tremor. Stop standing in the middle of things. Expeditious Retreat. This will be good for not standing in the middle of things. False life. It'll absorb a hit, so why not? Featherfall. You'll never need it until you really need it. Fog cloud. Take a hit of that vape and make some clouds, brah. Ice knife. Too cool for school. Jump. No. <laughs> no. Mage armor. If you don't have armor already, here you go. Magic missile. It literally cannot miss, and we still argue whether or not it's worth taking. Ray of sickness. A decent damage option. Shield. Saves your life. Silent image. Minor image's older brother. Sleep. Amazing early game. Falls off later. Thunder wave. Use when enemies are getting too close. Witch bolt. You have to constantly stay within 30 feet of the spell to make it work. The resultant migraine is just not worth it. Second level! Agonazar Scorcher. Fire beams are cool, but enemies don't line up that much. Alter Self. Disguise Self's bigger brother. Also comes with gills. Blindness slash deafness. Blindness beats out deafness in most areas because it's just always useful. Blur. Useless against AoE, but then most enemies don't have AoE. Cloud of Daggers. Easy to avoid unless you're in a cramped area, and then you can just stuff a fighter there instead. Crown of Madness. Unfortunately useless due to your target being able to cheese the spell so that you're the only one in range. Darkness. The staple smoke bomb. Dark vision. Burn a torch, not a second level spell. Detect thoughts. You never know who's secretly a flat earther. Dragon's breath. Very fun to use with limited mileage. Dust devil. More annoying than threatening. Earthbind. Too situational for your blood. Enhance ability. Open ended enough to not be bad. Enlarge slash reduce. I wish I could say that this was good, but. No. Gust of Wind. This spell is just hot air. Hold Person. The paralyzed condition is busted. Invisibility. Farewell and good night. Knock. Knock, knock. 
Who's the Boom! Levitate, the earliest fly you can get. Maximilian's Earth and Grasp. See, this is what people think Earthbind is, considering, you know, this one actually binds you with Earth. Mind Spike, one of the few psychic damage spells. Mirror Image, one of the best defense spells, and everybody is sleeping on it. Misty Step, your first teleport, oftentimes your best. Phantasmal Force, fun for roleplay ability, not so useful as a strictly offensive spell. Pyrotechnics, two abilities that aren't worth much. Scorching Ray, one of your most useful damaging spells. See Invisibility, too situational, unless that's like your gimmick. Shadow Blade, fun to use, not not so fun when you remember that you are made of tissue paper. Shatter, baby's first AoE. Snillix Snowball Swarm, baby's first AoE that you'll forget you have. Spider Climb, a movement spell that will compete with all the others. Suggestion, so very good. I love charm spells. Warding Wind, if wind is your gimmick, this is pretty cool. Otherwise, it's not super great. Web, slows down enemies until they start eating themselves over it. Third level, blink. It's like a weird glitchy invisibility, sort of? Catnap. If you have 10 minutes in a dungeon, you have an hour. Clairvoyance. Great scouting ability. Counterspell. Counterspell is bad because it's just too good. Daylight. You create a very large light, which, I mean, if that's what you want, then there you go. Dispel magic. Sorry, Jacob. Counterspell is, in fact, worse. This is still pretty badly written, though. Enemies abound. This is what Crown of Madness is meant to be. I don't know why it isn't. Erupting Earth. It's okay if Earth is your gimmick, otherwise you will forget the spell. Fear. You have other ways of keeping enemies off of you, but this isn't useless. Fireball. Just fireball. Flame arrows. Take this to give to someone else. I'm serious. Fly. Flying is great, unless you get shot down. Gaseous form. Flying is great, and you won't get shot down. Haste. Once again, take this to give to someone else. Hypnotic pattern. Once again, you have better ways of disabling people, but this isn't bad. Lightning bolt. Fireball's harder to hit cousin. Major image. It's like minor image, but better. Melf's minute meteors. If your party thinks you're spicy now, wait until you start dropping bombs. Protection from energy. I go back and forth on this spell, but if you're having trouble with elemental damage, then go ahead and take it. Sleet storm. Almost useless unless you really want to remove concentration from something. Slow. Not as useful as haste, but it exists. Stinking cloud. This is a war crime. Thunderstep. Escape from the guards next to you by alerting everyone else in the building. Tidal wave. For water gimmicks. Tongues. Situational, but not so much that you'll never use it. Wall of water. Walls are made to discourage people walking through them. Water breathing. I'd take Alter Self before I take this spell. Water walk. You know, Jesus was a sorcerer. Fourth level! Banishment. Your first elite spell. Blight. If your enemies are plants, beware. Charm monster. It's like charm person, but better. Confusion. A decent CC, but nothing you haven't seen before. Dimension door. Your best getaway spell. Dominate beast. Charm monster for animals. Greater invisibility. A fantastic way to confuse both the DM and your fellow players. Ice storm. Another decent damage spell. Polymorph. Turn your enemies into a chicken, or turn your friends into a T-Rex. Sickening Radiance. Exhaustion would be terrifying if it didn't go away as soon as the spell ends. Stone Skin. You have better defensive spells, but this isn't bad. Storm Sphere. Better than the other damaging spells of this level, because you can keep it going. Vitriolic Sphere. Better if you just want to get out quick damage, but remember that you still have Fireball. Wall of Fire. This does enough damage to discourage people walking into it. Watery Sphere. The greatest bubble of all time. Fifth level! Animate Objects. Obscenely powerful in so many ways. Cloud Kill. It's poison damage that walks away from the fight all on its own. Cone of Cold. Great damage. Don't hit your friends. Control Wins. This probably should be a lower level. Creation. It's neat, but I've never used it. Dominate Person. The end of the Charm Person line. Enervation. Once you hit with it, it's automatic damage each turn and free healing. Still, it's a little weak and you will be a target. Far Step. Misty Step's older brother that you will forget you have because you need that concentration for other things. Hold Monster. Like Hold Person, but better. Immolation. Continuous damage is always nice. Insect Plague. Even more bees! Seeming. A group disguise self. Skill empowerment. Too useful to lower its level, but not useful enough to take on your own. Synaptic static. One of your few psychic spells. Telekinesis. The force will be with you. Always. As long as you're a Skywalker or a Skywalker derivative. Teleportation Circle. Useful for when you find yourself stuck between a rock and another bird. Wall of Light. Sure, it blocks sight and shoots laser beam, but it's still not a wall. Wall of Stone. Oh hey, it's actually a wall! Sixth level! Arcane Gate. It's like Dimension Door, but door ear. Chain Lightning. It's like Lightning Bolt, but chain ear. Circle of Death. Very scary. Very powerful. Disintegrate. Even more powerful. Even more scary. Eye Bite. I hate this name so much, it's so gross. Make it stop. Globe of Invulnerability. This is the most annoying spell in the world. Take it. Investiture of Flame. Obligatory Fire Powers. Investiture of Ice. Obligatory Ice Powers. Investiture of Stone. Obligatory Stone Powers. Investiture of Wind. Obligatory Wind Powers. Mass Suggestion. It's like Suggestion, but Masser. Mental Prison. 
Prison, one of the most terrifying illusion spells in the game. Move Earth, it's a role-playing spell, take of that what you will. Scatter, a forceful teleportation, great for separating people. Sunbeam, continuous beams of light that can layer blindness on everything is great. Trucing, good when you need it. Seventh level! Crown of Stars, the only crown worth wearing. Delayed Blast Fireball, it's a secret tool that will help us later. Etherealness, sure you get to be a spooky ghost, but I feel like there are easier ways to do that? Finger of Death, making friends the easy way. Firestorm, bring down 70 d20. This spell is just no joke. Plane Shift, oh hey, an easier way to get to the ethereal plane, like I said. Power Word Pain, a seventh level spell for a bunch of insignificant effects. Prismatic Spray, randomness, it's fun, right? Reverse Gravity, I think I'll try to find gravity. Teleport, the best teleport in the game, if you can get it to work right. Whirlwind, and you'll blow us all away. Eighth level! Abi Dalzim's Horrid Wilting. It's a spooky spell, yeah, but not eighth level worthy. Dominate Monster. You can finally have that monster dom you've always wanted. Earthquake. When you have the power to destroy cities, you can just take whatever spells you want. Who cares? Incendiary Cloud. Oh no, my eighth level spell defeated by a light breeze. Power Word Stun. It's okay, I guess, but it'll only ever work on the boss's henchmen. Sunburst. This spell replicates the feeling of having the blinds pulled on you in the morning. Ninth level! Gate. Past, present, future. All are one in Yogg-Sothoth. Mass Polymorph. I mean, this is just a fun spell. Take it and be merry. Meteor Swarm. It's like Firestorm, but HOLY SHIT IS THAT A SPACE ROCK?! Power Word Kill. If you guess correctly, you shave up to 100 HP. If you guess incorrectly, you lose a 9th level spell slot. Psychic Scream. The greatest psychic spell, beaten out by a bunch of other craziness. Time Stop. A classic. Wish. My command. But that'll about do it. Thank you so much for making it to the end of this video with me. I only have two more of these to go through, and then I am done. I'm done with these list guides. They've taken more out of me than I can properly express through words. Don't be like me, kids. Don't be a YouTuber. You'll never live it down. Check out my social media in the description below. Support me on Patreon if you want. I don't know. Who cares? But yeah, Debbie out.